We all have belief systems, some of which work for us and others which work against us and can cause us great harm or limit our potential for growth. Our life experiences can cause us to believe certain things, either from direct experience or these beliefs can stem from societal indoctrination. Limiting beliefs can occur around pretty much anything and cause us to limit what we believe is possible. So let me give you an example from my own life to do with languages as this is a particular area of interest for me. Why is it that in many continental European countries it is not uncommon to find people who speak multiple languages, while in the UK it is somewhat rare to find people who speak other languages besides English. I now speak three languages and I always had an interest in languages as a kid, but because there was nobody around me capable of speaking foreign languages, it seemed impossible to me and I, so I just accepted it just wasn't on the cards. I've since encouraged others to learn a foreign language as I have experienced many, many benefits to this as a result. And often I'll hear, I'm not good at languages. So this often stems from a di direct experience in which the student received a poor education at school and they subsequently internalize the experience that they can't do it, thus believing they are limited in their ability and never go on to realize their potential in this field. Many of us have had experiences in which we've believed something only to later realize that what we were believing simply wasn't true or accurate. And so we then break free of these limiting beliefs. But what about the beliefs that go unchecked? We often learn things in childhood that we never question. And yet so much of what we learn limits our minds and doesn't necessarily even stack up. But when we accepted it as true, we were too young to critically analyze the data coming in. An example of this is the joke we all heard as kids, why did the chicken cross the road? And of course, the answer is to get to the other side. However, the real meaning of this joke is debated, but many people postulate this joke is actually quite dark and is a reference to suicide, the other side symbolizing the afterlife. Now this joke highlights that many things we just accept into our consciousness without question aren't what they first appear to be and that we can hold beliefs that are inaccurate and faulty. So how can we challenge these pesky limiting beliefs in order to realize our full potential? This process is work because we need to actively accrue contradictory information to what we're currently holding in our minds. Our minds naturally gravitate and look for information on what they already know to be true. Be sure after this video to check out another video I made on the reticular activating system to find out more about this as it's a very interesting phenomenon. So what we need to do is decide what evidence we are trying to collect in order to undermine the belief we're holding and gradually chip away at the belief until it no longer limits us. With the previous example of languages, if I had the belief that learning foreign languages was impossible and I wanted to tackle it, for example, I would challenge myself to memorize three new words a day for a week. Then I would build on this by setting additional goals. The idea is that you don't just want to tell your brain, you can do it, because if it has concrete evidence of a time when you tried to do it and failed, it will know that it's a bunch of baloney and it will just dismiss it as you just trying to think positively in the face of the truth. So we need to show our brains, look, here, you can do it, here's the evidence, and repeat the process until the brain gets the message. Let me quickly give you another example. Suppose you have a fear of talking to others. Set your goal accordingly, start small. Talk to someone on the phone and be sure to log what you're doing. Because again, the idea is to connect the dots in our brains, which may think talking to people is scary. So by doing this, we're showing our brains, oh, I can and am doing it, thus lifting the limiting belief. Please tell me in the comments below a limiting belief that you currently or used to hold and how you overcame it or how you plan to overcome it. We all hold limiting beliefs, but if we root around in our brain and make a point of removing those blockages, we can do it. There will be some initial resistance, but with a plan of action and consistency, 
we can take the shackles off ourselves, liberate our minds and realize our potential. Please comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you on the flip side. Ciao for now.